Today we're going to take a glass marble and a hardened steel ball bearing and shoot it at ballistic gel. And as you know, ballistic gel is an exact reproduction of the human body except for muscle and fat and cartilage and bone. <laughs> The glass marble. Marble. Um, we're going to shoot the gel sideways because this has so little penetrating power that. It should get stuck. Yeah. Glass marble. Oh, I went right through it. Wow. Dang it. We only had one of those. Yeah. I don't think it shattered or anything. Hey, it intersected. <laughs> oh, wow. You know you're good when you can when you can shoot like that. Did you get your your trading on Call of Duty or? I had to buy the Call of Duty, the new game on Xbox One. Oh, okay. That's how you acquired your shooting skills and yeah. knowledge? I spent uh, 72 hours of my life in the last three days exactly on Call of Duty without bathroom breaks. Very good. You just pooped yourself? <laughs> yeah, your, right in the couch. Your COD camouflage diapers. Oh, we just like to kid about the gamers. But on a serious note, I've been playing this one game, and I've got this really high kill streak on it, and it's called uh, Pet Rescue Saga. I found out I was playing it wrong, and I wasn't supposed to euthanize the pets. Anyway, the glass marble went right through six inches of ballistic gel. Next, we'll take one of our favorite rounds, the hardened steel ball bearing, and see if it'll go through the full 18 inches. All right, whenever you're ready. Went right through Went it. Right through it. Couldn't be more dead center. Yeah, that's dead. Yeah, you can't. Oh, you were, you, were, you were two millimeters off, Darren. You suck. Damn it. According, according to everyone on the internet. Thank you. Get a good angle of the dangle here. Hey, it went right clean through. It'll be interesting to see what, how, how much cavitation we got with a ball bearing. And then we're exited. Spherical projectiles are really good rounds because it doesn't really matter if they spin or what direction they're facing. They're always the same and consistent. Unlike a soft lead projectile, it didn't mushroom out. It's nice and smooth and round, and it just passed right through that ballistic gel block all 18 inches and only slowed down a tiny bit. It probably could have gone through maybe twice that thickness. That's why we love ball bearing so much. We definitely want to thank the Wound Channel for generously donating this block of ballistic gel. This gel block originally was crystal clear, and as it's remelted a few times, it becomes darker and darker. But hey, it's perfect for channels like mine, and we definitely appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Coming up on Tau Flater Mouse, we will take a look at a commonly asked viewer question. Does it really make much of a difference if the object that we're shooting at is fixed or loose as far as penetration goes? While most other YouTube channels totally ignore your comments, we not only reply to comments, we try your ideas too.